Welcome back everybody. My name is All Fun and Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV and I also make fun little videos here on YouTube. Today we're going to be talking about meteor showers and basically where to base and where not to base. As always, everyone has their own opinion of where they actually want to base in DSD, so feel free to stick to whatever you'd like to do, but I'm just here to basically tell you my experience and what I probably would recommend as a new player for Don't Starve Together. Okay, so let's start out with the obvious choice, basing the swamps. Probably not the best option as there's multiple different things there that want to kill you and I probably would avoid doing so. Okay, so don't base in the swamps unless maybe you're playing Word or unless you're more experienced or just if you want to have a fun time. I can tell you right away, I have probably based in the swamps maybe twice. Now to the real part of this video. Basing anywhere there's some sort of rock formation or rocks in general. So as you can see in the mosaic or essentially in the rocky lands or even down here where you might see little bits of rocks down here. All those are going to replenish, meaning meteors are going to spawn back in in order to basically make up for all the meteors, sorry, all the rocks that have basically been taken away. So if for some odd reason I wanted to set up camp or a new base near here, chances are I might end up getting hit with meteors as time went by in the world. And the same goes for living near the pig biome or even in between, just sandwiched in between both. So this is something that you want to be careful of. As I've seen plenty of people go, well, you know what? I'm all the way over here. Why are the meteors eventually coming here? Some things will eventually happen like this too. You might start out and say, okay, look, I'm over here and the meteors are starting to hit my base. I'm going to move down here. Well, sometimes what ends up happening or more times than none is the meteors will eventually kind of shift. They're going to start by basically working their way down this line and eventually go down to the furthest that they can go and then basically go back up. So they're not going to continue to go down, 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 down. They're just going to go down to their vicinity and then eventually, you know, stop from there. The proximity will essentially stop them from going any further. And then they'll, they'll obviously rinse or repeat the method. So sometimes if you end up finding yourself getting hit in these biomes or outside of these biomes, this is the reason why. So my recommendation, try basing a little bit further away. For example, if you want to be really far away, you might consider basing over here inside of the grassy lands. And I mean, of course, there might be some beefalo over there, but that's not that big of a deal. You might also consider basing in the forest. Perhaps over here, you might consider basing deep into the forest, as essentially in between here, you might get hit with rocks from both sides. The oasis is always a good option as well, but as you can see, the oasis is a little bit closer to the rocky fields as well, so that could be a problem. Essentially speaking, if you find your base getting hit, chances are that you can most likely base near the spawn if you really want to, as I don't really like doing that too much, but essentially in the spot like right here, it might be perfectly fine. It's further enough away from the actual rocky lands where you probably won't get hit by meteors. It comes down to almost a trial and error. Sometimes what I like to do is once I finally explore most of the map, I, I smash up some rocks, live there for a little bit, essentially make a temporary base, and then finally when I realize it's not getting hit by meteors and I like the location that it's in, then I start to develop my base. So just remember, if you find meteors are actually spawning in, as they might here right here, they look like this, boom! Well, guess what? You might find yourself actually in a little bit too close to the rocky lands thanks again for watching i'll see you in the next one and have an awesome day